Okay, guys. Got an interesting one here. Um, this Jeep, they complain is in limp mode. And when you put it in gear, see it says hot oil. And it's yelling at us. Right there. And they said, I guess it don't shift right. Because I went to put it in reverse, it's just like, bang. So, let's, uh, I know this chime's annoying. But like if you go in reverse, let's see, reverse, bam. It just bangs. So, um, we're going to, we're going to, uh, oops, I didn't realize they had, they had a kid's visor thing on the back window. So I'm going to scan this for codes and we'll see what codes we have. Okay, so this is a uh, 2016 Jeep Wrangler. And if we look, we got lost communication with TCM. And that looks like it. So we can't talk to our TCM. Hmm. Oh yeah, we couldn't talk to it. That's why we got the hot oil message in that. So we're gonna have to get a diagram, look up to see where this TCM is located and how this all works. Okay guys, so looks like we have a single power coming down from the transmission control relay. That power comes from J1B 20 amp. Or J18, I guess it's J18. That it up here in the top corner. J18. It's hard for me to tell if that's intact. It looks like it's intact. And there's J18. Oh, we'll check our relay. Transmission control relay. Let's see, do we have relays on here? We're not seeing any other relays. So all these relays right here. See any other relays listed? Oops. Oh. Where is the transmission control module on this? Guess we'll have to see where the transmission control module is, and we can check our powers. Looks like it has. Three connectors. Wonder if it's part of the PCM and they just label it as a second one. Okay, guys, so I actually found it. It's all the way up here. I think it's this K5 relay we need. So, where's K5? K5. Is that this one? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the U activate and we're going to test this. Okay, guys, let's turn the key on. I got my. Uh, I got my uh, U-Activate on. Oh, I didn't realize that they had blue lights and stuff on the headlights. But you can see it's controlling it. Press this, we got power. So let's turn 87 on. 
And let's see if we can talk to our TCM now. Chicken delight is flashing. Let's try this again. Look at that. Oh, it's doing it. Let's see. Nope. So we still can't talk to our TCM. Even with that one. Hmm. I was hoping that would have did it. But maybe our fuse or something's blown. We got it going the right way, right? Our fuse doesn't look blown. Hmm. What is K5? Hmm. So what we can do is we can load test this and make sure that we have power going through. So let me get my headlight bulb. Okay guys, we got our headlight bulb connected to the ground right there. So if I connect this to 30 right here, we got power. And if we connect it to 87 right here, we got power. So that means our fuse is good. So our power is good. Um, so our issue We have to get to this TCM. So let me get to that. Well, we need to find out where it's at. If it's part of the PCM, I think. Actually, I guess it can't be part of the PCM because it says it has three connectors. C3, C2, and C1. And the PCM only has two. So I never had a work. I don't think I've had to replace a TCM on one of these. Okay guys, here's our TCM. So I'm on the uh, yellow and the black wire. Test light. Turn the key on. Lights up. So our powers and grounds are good. So now all we gotta do is check our can wire. And if our can wires are good, our can wires are right here in the end. These white wires, so we'll scope that. And if that's good, we need a TCM. Okay guys, so we're scoped into the CAN network right here. There's two wires, they're by themselves. It's two connectors in one, I can show you that once I get it out. But we've got our lab scope set up here. We're on 5 volt scale. Turn the key on. Look at that. The CAN network looks perfect. Let's see if we can connect to this. Enter system. Oh. So yeah guys, we need a TCM in here, looks like. So let me see if I can get these wires off of here. Let me see if I can release this. Okay, so you will see over here in this connector, it says H and L. Right there, high and low speed can, they're by themselves. And you can see the connector right here starts at 12 and goes to is that 38. And you can see how the connector's by itself on here. So, yep, I'm gonna quote a TCM, we're gonna go from there. Okay guys, I got our used module put in. It ju they just clip in. Just literally just has clips that it holds in. So we got that in. Let's start this up. Connector scan tool up. And looks like look at that. We don't have any messages right now. I got all this stuff on the floor. I gotta put the panels back together yet. No banging? Huh. That's uh let's 
do a full system scan on here real quick. Okay. There we go. Let's go to report. Look at that. Codes went away. Just depending. Cylinder. Four let's, or three. Whatever it was, what was it? Cylinder three. Quick erase. There we go, shut it off, turn it back on. Let's go under TCM. Um, let's go under ACU information. Let's see if it gives us like, like a VIN or something. Current VIN, 708, that's actually our current VIN. So it took the VIN. Um, let's see, does they got a software part number or is it just that part number up there? I'm gonna check this part number right here, make sure that this crosses over to ours. Let's go to special functions. Um put this, let's, let's clear this. Resetting ECU. Okay, reset. Learn. Okay. I don't think we have to initialize it. Okay. Verify latest updates are installed. So this should be taking the uh, tire size and that from the, uh, probably the tip them if this has a tip them and putting it in there. Check out the key before continuing. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Check trouble codes. None. Just check our numbers in here. Um, like I said, I'm gonna look this up by the VIN. So, I'm gonna check that quick. Oh guys, so it is the same part number that says P8293700AA. Well, this one says AA, this is AC, so this is a newer part number, but we'll check it anyway. Okay guys, so this thing's like shifting perfect. So I don't see any issues. Um, our speedometer, it's probably like two miles an hour off. I don't know if they changed the tire size on here. But uh, it's just real nice, drives real nice. We'll check it for codes when we get back to the shop. I think our problem was 
just with the module. I don't know what's killing them because when I called Jeep for it, I called two dealerships. They told me it was a couple months wait and that it was uh, like there was a stop sale. So they weren't allowed to sell the ones that they had in inventory. So I'm assuming there's something wrong with the modules because they didn't, they weren't, they wouldn't tell me what like a stop sale actually was. They just said, we're not allowed to sell them. So they didn't have any reason why. So I'm assuming there was either like a high failure rate or something and they don't want them coming back. So there we go, we're back. Let's put this in. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's just do a bolt scan. Uh, I wonder if these codes and these other modules were from me doing that initialization. I wonder if it went offline. Let's see a report. Yeah. That was probably when it went offline when I was doing it because it says stored even though that one said pending we know it's not pending because we have no issues driving just do a quick erase because when you initialize stuff or program stuff sometimes they go offline you can check it real quick just Starters up, hold scan. Yep, so I hope you guys like this one. See you later.